welcome to a psychic medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, psychic medium and channel hypnotist and healer. And here we go again. I am going to do approximately 60 minutes of what I like to loosely call entertainment for you. I will be answering your questions about life, love, career, finances, and helping you connect with loved ones up above. If you would like to ask a question, you can call in 845-277-9131. Or if you're watching live on YouTube, you can put the, the question in the chat. Yeah. That's it. Or the connection in the chat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, okay, I go live every single Monday at noon and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. And we are going to, I just feel like it's going to be a really good laid back, kick back show. It's going to be really fun. I just have that feeling today. It's just so, <sighs> yes. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, uh, please don't get scammed. I'll never reach out to you. I'll never tell you some, to, to, to get something. All of my readings are done over the phone. Um, so, or in person. So if somebody says they will, you know, they're pretending to be me and they'll text it or email it, that's, that's just not me. So please don't, don't, don't waste your money. Don't get scammed out of money. Um, please don't. Okay. And uh, what else? I think I can go into, we're going to go into, um, Okay, we're going to go into um, there. It, it just every time I go to say it, they're not. It's just like a silence. So we're going to. I'm just going to say names. We're going to do names, and we're going to start with the names. It could be your loved one's name, your name, a pet's name, a place that you were, a nickname. Um, or somebody in the family's name, and one name can apply to more than one person. So the first name that I'm getting is Luciana. And when I say these names, what is they're coming through to let you know they're with you. They want you to know they are with you. They're and it may, they might they they always want to talk to us and have messages for us, but they want you, they really want you to know they're coming through and, and making sure a name or a song or a confirmation comes through so that you know they are still with you. Because that is one of the biggest questions that we have. Sometimes when somebody first passes, we can feel them so much and it's because we're thinking of them so much. And as time goes on, we don't spend as much time thinking about them. So we don't, um, feel them as much, but they're still there. They are still there. I can't tell you the number of, of people your relatives are driving around in a vehicle with you. If you're taking public transportation, they're right there with you in that public transportation. If you're driving a vehicle, um, they're with you driving that vehicle. If you are, when you're in a vehicle, when you're traveling, they are there. And they're there for a couple of different reasons. In traveling, our loved ones are with us, number one, to help keep us safe. Always. Um, keep us, you know, on the road. Number two, when we are traveling, we sometimes will get, um, somebody's playing with my hair up here, sorry. Um, we will get those thoughts. Our mind is not distracted as much. So they're there. And the second place that loved ones are always where I see loved ones is in the kitchen. 
not the like a dining table, but in the kitchen, always in the kitchen. I always, especially women in the kitchen. If I see a male loved one in the kitchen, he's he's always sitting at the table with like maybe a cup of coffee or a beer or something like that. But for the most part, when I see loved ones, the, those are two of the bigger areas that I see loved ones, but they're also with you at work. They're always with us. Okay. So the first name is Luciana. The second name, and that could be Luciano, but either way it is, it, it, that's the name. Um, the next, the next name is William. Then we have Bob and then we have Ingrid. And then we have Escargo. I know that it's, it might be a confirmation over a name. Um, whatever they give me, I'm just letting it come out. The next name is Winifred and then Wilma, Ingrid again. I think I said that, but it's coming through again. The next name is um, Josefina. The next name is then the next name is okay um michiata michiata or Mich michiata either way it's it's one or both of those the next name is Leilani. I think I have a niece. No, that's not my niece's name. Okay, it's Leilani. The next name is uh, well, it's not a name, but Portugal. Maybe somebody's named Portugal or nickname Portugal. Um, the next one is Talitha. And they said it very slowly for you. Talitha. Talitha. If you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. You can call in and ask a question. I always say, the answer will be the same, but the energy will be a little bit different when you call in, just so you know. Um, I keep thinking, like, these things keep coming to me, and then they're just gone. They're in and out today. So um, the, I'm going to go to uh, the first question. And if you put a question in the chat, Please, um, uh, please repeat, don't repeat that question unless I have passed your question. I hope that makes sense. Um, I am going down to the first uh, question. I'm going to go to uh, the call, call line first and the first uh, number is 269. 269. 269. Where are you calling from and what's Where your you name? Calling? Okay. 269. Um, I'll come back to you, but I need you to uh, turn off whatever you're listening to me on and then then I'll come back you'll be the next caller okay I'm gonna go to 504 504 what's your name and where are you calling from hi I'm Debbie um and you told me to call back um I called about my mom about uh two weeks ago I don't know if you remember me no I'm I'm so sorry I normally don't and um 
I normally don't because so many messages are coming through. So please don't be offended by that. But what I will say is if you have a, let's start with a question or if you want to connect with your mom, let's start there. And maybe you were at the end of the show and I didn't get to get like all the message out, but let's, let's just start with either connecting with your mom or question. And that way it gives me kind of that permission to get into that area of your life. Okay. Um, well, um, she, uh, you have pulled, okay, I can't, I have to ask a question. I'm, you know what, is my stomach stress related to this? Stress, I'm, is, my, is my health being affected by my mom's issues? Because I know that's a twofer, but I am, stressed and now my stomach hurts <laughs> or been hurting okay so i'm going what's your mom's name love toy I, can you say that one more time it's like toy except with a f l it's irish okay that's okay and is your mom still here with us? She's still in her physical body? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm getting. And I hope, I really hope it's helpful. Okay. The first okay. thing. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome, love. The first thing I'm hearing is this is out of your hands. Whoa like my Jesus <laughs> my, I don't know for those of you who are watching I apologize but my my strap just slipped completely off my shoulder there what the heck um and mm-hmm. I'm leaning up against a chair so that should hold it in place so for it just to, to to do that that's crazy oh my goodness um I'm so sorry. The first thing that I'm getting is um, this is out of your hands. What, like, whatever happens, you have no power or control over it. Meaning, I think, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, a, a like, it could mean this, but it could mean something else. Um, what direction? your mom's health or how long or any of the things with that you you have no power or control over that that's out of your hands it's predetermined there is no right or wrong choice you can make so just breathe on that one just breathe the next thing i'm getting is the next thing i'm getting is that her Like, her, I keep hearing her medications, her medications, her medications. And I'm guessing this means either she's on medications or she's going to be soon. But the, something okay. that, are her medications, could her medications be off? Either what she's taking or the amount she's taking, could it be off a little bit? Yeah. And, She's not taking, she's doing more herbals if she's doing something. Okay. And maybe drinking a little alcohol or some kind of pain. <laughs> mental. Okay. Uh, how or old, emo, er, physical. Sweetie, how old is your mom? 79. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's, I, I'm going to say a couple things to you and for what it's worth. It's just a for what it's worth. Okay. Um, she's going to do things her her way i feel like she is a very strong willed person or stubborn however however we want to say that she's very strong willed stubborn and nobody's going to convince her that she needs to do something differently because this is just what she believes i i believe as long as somebody who knows what they're doing can help direct her she's 
it's whether she goes eastern western or whatever it's going to be it eventually be the same result okay um she has a very it's not about the care that she's getting it's about how she goes at this point and i'm going to explain this to you and i want you to put yourself in her shoes because when it's somebody we love like a parent we want to do everything at every cost to help them but if it were us mm -hmm. we would say like me personally me personally I don't ever want to be in a situation where people have to take care of me. Like if something mm -hmm. happens to me and there's a like a choice of a hospice situation, just unplug everything and let me go. Like up that morphine, put me out of my misery and let me go. Like I believe in quality mm -hmm. of life and quality of leaving life. I don't believe mm -hmm. we should always, we wouldn't do it to a pet, but we're doing it to the humans. Like we, we would never do this to our dog or cat, but we're doing it to humans and I get it. But you know, if it's me, that's my choice. And that's what I'm getting for your mom. Your mom is, if I, when I go and if I go and we all go and how I go is going to be on my terms. The best thing you can do for her is respect that. Because when it comes your turn and it eventually becomes our turn, for each and every one of us, we would like to think that we can make the final choice in how we care for ourselves until the end and for how long we care for ourselves until the end. Um, uh -huh. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to just add this because they're saying it, they're, they're telling me to say this. At a certain point, most of our family and close friends have already gone home and we, and I noticed this with a lot of people who are a little bit more mature, <clears throat> they don't really have anybody to go to lunch with or to call or to talk to because those people have already gone home. Um, so again, I'm gonna say, although it is, very distressing for us to watch them go through this and experience this. We still have to respect the way they choose to go through it. So take all the stress off of you and know this is, this is the most beautiful thing you could do for her. And in the end, don't have the question but what if we would have, if only she would have, um, don't, don't feel like that because her quality is more important to her and her control is more important to her than anything else. And it takes a great deal of respect to allow her to have that. Okay. Okay. So I hope that's helpful. I, I feel it though in my body. I, it hurt like my stomach. I'm an impact. And that it and was hard to put a wall up. Okay, so what I'm going to say to that, and I, I appreciate you sharing that with us, and I get that. But what you're feeling is not only her choices, you're feeling your feelings of what you know is coming it's sometimes thank you sometimes when we are dealing with really big things like this um we we feel like it's, we project what we're feeling because we're still a little bit in denial about the reality of the situation. So for example, if 
right now you're feeling what's going on with her, you could also be feeling the stress of knowing what this is leading to. And I know that you might not, right now you might not see that or understand it. Um, but I, what, and the way I would say it, if I were just saying it blatantly is, is it's a lot of fear based on the outcome, the potential outcome. You're just experiencing a tremendous amount of fear about the potential outcome of this whole situation. And is there more you could do, should do, but what if it's the what ifs and it's uh, really doing a number on you. So I'm going to say that for you, and I I, tr I truly, truly hope that that is helpful for you. I really do. Um, I'm going to go to the first online question, and the first online question is, uh, last time we spoke, you said you saw our home selling in March. It's up for sale now. Are you still seeing that? Yeah. Let me do a month by month for you, Tricia. So if I go um, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. March is the first month I get a yes. Now, I will say this. If you bottom out the price, maybe I would not recommend that because I feel like you know, the real estate industry is always changing. And if you just, you know, there's a timing for everything. I feel like you're going to get a lot of look-sees in the beginning, a lot of momentum, but then it's just going to um, kind of flatten off. You might even pull it off through the holidays and then put it back up again. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Is there something stopping the block? There's nothing stopping it from selling. It's just, I just hear the word timing, love. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, I'm going to go to 269. 269, what's your name? What's your name? Pamela. Hey, Pamela, can you turn down the whatever's playing in the background for me, please? Oh, there's nothing playing. Okay, because I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing the reverb or... Oh, let me take you off. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, thank I you. have a speakerphone on. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So how can is, I... Is help? that better? How? I think is that better? so. Yeah. How can I help you, love? Okay. How can I help you? I have a question about um, my living space. Will it return to being safe? Will I be able to go to one that is safe? I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know what's going on with my neighbor, but there's a lot of smoke that's getting into my house and other things. It's in my air conditioning. Pamela, I have a, a, a are you in an apartment or a house? You have a what? Are you in an apartment or a house? Oh, a house. Okay. I'm in a house. I've lived here for 22 years. Please, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna um don't hang up. I'm gonna mute you because as I'm talking, I can hear what I'm saying coming out of my phone, and I I just want to be able to really focus on your answer here. So what I'm getting, it will return to being safe. However. I've, I'm going to ask that question a little bit differently for you also. I'm going to ask, is it in your best interest, in your safest interest for you to stay in this property? And, you know, I, I actually get a no, but let, if you stay... If you stay, you'll be safe, but there will be some things that are going on that you're not... Um, that you're not very happy with. Like, I just get there's a clown in town. 
and they're causing chaos. I'm going to ask you another question, but I'm go I'm going to I'm going to ask the question and then I'm going to unmute you. So be be patient, please. Um, wait, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what the question was. Poop, <laughs> poop a doop. Um, yeah. I do feel like if you go, if you relocate, you'll be happy. I feel like if you relocate, you'll be really happy. You're going to find something that makes you really happy. I also feel like whatever's going on with this neighbor, it, oh, hold on a second. Pamela, where are you located? What city state? I'm in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Okay. I feel like you are going like to need to, um, you're probably going to, and it's really unfortunate. I feel like even if this neighbor ends up stopping, it'll be temporary. And then they'll, I just hear shenanigans. They're just going to pull up. Like if it's not one thing, it's another. And I do feel like even if they don't, I don't know how to say this. Even if the person that's there or the person that's doing this is not supposed to be there, it'll take a really long time to get rid of them, but then there will be something else there. There will be something else going on. So it's going to be kind of on and off. So when I, you know, here's the thing that I'm going to say for you, love. When I get things like shenanigans, like there's a clown in town, this is something or someone that they might not wake up and go, how can I start some poop today? But they wake up and they start poop every day. And if you say something, they, they're like, they, they will push it. They will do more um, because how dare you? Like, how do you? Oh, who do you think you are saying something? And I do feel like they are very, um, just, just very, uh, like, just the shenanigans. Like, I just keep getting, there's a lot of shenanigans with that stuff. So that's, that's what I would say to you, my love, if you can, uh, if, here's what I'm going to say. Sometimes these things happen because it's time for us to go to, in another direction. It's time for us to move on. It's like we've had 22 or 20 or 10 beautiful years in this space, but we've outgrown it or we're supposed to have a new experience someplace else. So sometimes what we see as, oh my gosh, this is this person's pushing me out. No, this help person is helping you make your next move to someplace that's really good for you. Um, okay, that's what I have for you. I hope that is helpful. I feel like also, I just want to say this, whatever this person is doing, it's probably not even very legal what they're doing. And if that is correct, you really don't want to mess with it. Uh, you don't want to be in the middle of that. You don't want to be the person reporting that. You just kind of want to get out, move, go. Um, and that's it. Uh, now, one thing I will say, if you do decide to move, you know, you could do, there's one thing they're showing me that, but again, like, you know, safety first. If there's a lot, if there's so much smoke coming out of the house that it's getting into your air conditioner or, you know, whatever it is, call the fire department and say, you know, there's, there's a lot of smoke. I'm not sure what it is. They'll have to go in. They'll be forced to go in and do a safety check. Um, and whatever they find, they'll have to report. But again, be safe. Be safe. Safety first, folks. Safety first.
Okay. And if you can do that without them knowing you're the one who called, all the better. Okay. I'm going to go... Um, going to go to the next question. Um, Isabella wants to know any messages for me in terms of my love life. Isabella, while I think about that, I'm going to let everybody know if you'd like to call in and ask a question. The call in number is 845-277-9139. Isabella, there is someone on the other side. I hear grandma, a grandmother, meaning it's a female in the, it's a grandmother. If it's not your grandmother, it's your mother's grandmother, but it's a grandmother. And what I'm hearing is, um, Stay focused on you, stay focused on your life, stay, make goals, make new goals, or like, uh, yeah, make goals or have goals and reach those goals. And in the process of doing or being you, someone's gonna come in. So I wanna say this in another way, Isabella, and I, um, I hope it makes sense to you. Um, what I'm going to say is if you're really set in your career and you're where you want to be and you're climbing the ladder appropriately, all is going well, um, then make a goal to learn how to maybe bake or cook or mountain climb or something. Learn something new. Make some goals or start a side business or... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry, whatever it is, make a goal of something you truly want to do, something you truly enjoy, and then start following that goal. And I feel like whatever that is for you, it's not what I, it doesn't, if, if it's something I said that you want to do, that's great. It doesn't have to be what I said, like it doesn't have to be learning to bake or decorate cakes. It doesn't have to be that. It can be something that like, I've always wanted to dot, 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 or I think it would be great to join a cycling team or whatever it is. That is going to be, a, but the biggest message is stay focused on you. Okay, my love, I hope that's helpful. I'm gonna go to the next caller, 843. 843, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Bonita Carter, and I'll speak across so you don't get an echo. My name's Bonita, and uh, I'm calling from um, Indian Land, South Carolina. Okay, Bonita from Florida, correct? No, from uh, um, South Carolina. South Carolina. I'm so sorry. How did I get Florida out of South Carolina? I am so, so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, how can I help you, Bonita? But that, but I did get the name right, right? I'm running 50-50 here. I did get your name right. How, how can I help you, love? Yeah. Um, so I have a situation that I'm trying to work through. I have kids in my house, and um, they're grown. And uh, I'm helping them move through the process, get their own place. But in the... But in the um, interim it's kind of like blocking my ability to have a relationship with anyone so i'm wondering if number one they'll move out and if i'll get a relationship if a relationship will develop yes beyond. okay develop. so here's here's what i'm getting for you love um grown children in your home and you're trying to help them move out um give them uh, the first thing I hear is they need timelines. Um, they need timelines. Like they need a schedule of you need to do this by this time, this by this time, so that you can be at this by this time. But give them timelines. Don't leave it open-ended, okay? Because open-ended is just going to, it's not that important. You need very strict 
timelines with them. And I also feel like how many kids are there, love? Um, I have um, three boys in my home. Okay. One of them doesn't, doesn't want to go. One of them is just really good. Just really good being there. One of them, if they could stay, they would. Okay. I'm just going to let you know now that's going to be the most difficult situation. Um, give them timelines and make them stick to the timelines. Can I please ask their ages? Yeah, um, I have twins. They're 21. They're about to be 22, September 20th. And uh, my other one is 19. 19. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. The the thing I'm, I'm, the biggest thing I'm getting for you is they need timelines and those timelines need to be adhered to. Um and that is going to be your best course of action. Now, if I look at it and I say, will they be out by, you know, December? Maybe not so much. Um, next year sometime, yes. Will a relationship start before they're out of the house? You're kind of, and I, I love you before I say this. I love you, <laughs> but you're, you're kind of like they're a convenient reason not to have a relationship. Like even though you want one, you're like, oh, but my boys are in the house. But but my but these boys are I have these. And what I'm going to say to you is it, when we're really ready and we really want it, nothing can stop it. Now, I will also say to you this. Um. I do feel like a relationship will start prior to them going. It Now, please hear me. Please hear this. Pay attention. The relationship that is going to start prior to them moving out is not a good relationship. This person's going to come in and be like a take control type of person, but they're going to kind of start trying to manage your life and give subtle hints and then statements about how you should have your life. Be very careful with that situation or person. And it's actually going to be a good thing that the boys are still there because um, that will be your justification and your safety net, if you will, with this particular person, okay? I do feel like, um, you might meet this person around November, December, just, you know, I normally wouldn't say this if you can skip it. I believe sometimes we can learn things from people, but you're going to think this is a really good guy when you first meet him. And we've all been there. We meet somebody and, you know, they, they flatter us or whatever. You're going to think this is a really good, good guy. It's really ish kebab. Um, but it, the sooner that is done, the better. <clears throat> and then in the spring, you know, the fall of next year, you're going to meet somebody that has the potential to be a much longer term relationship. Okay, love? That sounds like my ex. They and, just tried to come back. Yeah, you know, when I met him, I'm going to, I'm going to say this to you. There's the potential if if it's not it maybe it is your ex I don't know but I feel like there's the potential for somebody brand new to come in who is similar to him but you won't see it right away 
and you have to, okay. the, the goal here is for you to catch it as soon as possible. So for example, and I'm going to say, I'm going to just say this for you and everybody listening, you know, when somebody comes back from the past and we reject, we say, okay, no, I'm done. I've had enough of this. You haven't changed. You haven't gotten help. Yay. I did it. Then somebody will pop in and we give them a clean slate and the benefit of the doubt to start. And then uh, little things start creeping up and we, we don't handle it the same way we would with an X. So we have to cut it off right away and not give the benefit. What, what I keep hearing, don't give the benefit of the doubt. And that's for everyone everywhere. Do not give the benefit. If somebody doesn't know how to behave, that they might need a benefit of a doubt, even on just one thing, that's a no thank you. No, sir. No, thank you. That's a, you are a full grown adult. You have been riding this merry-go-round. I am not your first girlfriend. I don't need to give you a benefit of the doubt. If you don't not, if you do not, if you don't not know how to behave now at this age, you never will. So the, the, the thing I'm getting is when someone comes in, do not make exceptions. Do not give the benefit of the doubt. Okay, love. I, I really hope that that's very, 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 um, very, very helpful for you. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question. I'm going to go to Angie, another relationship uh, question. Hey, Tony, do you see me in a relationship with R? Our date seemed to go well. I'm going to ask this a little bit differently, Angie, and I hope you don't mind. I'm going to ask if R is looking for a serious relationship right now, and I hear no, go with the flow. Sorry. So even if he does reach back out, that's not what he's, he's kind of looking for like a situation where he can go with the flow, have a little fun, um, go along to get along sort of thing. Now, Angie, I do feel like there's someone else, there's the potential for someone else to come in. And I do feel like this might be someone Um, somebody you already know, but not an ex. Okay. It's like a friend of a friend thing. And I feel like it's going to be a good, a really good situation. I hope that's helpful for you. And it, it, it doesn't mean it has to be a friend of a friend. It could be like your cousin's brother's friend. I'm just saying words there that don't even whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, if you don't directly, you may have met this person once or twice, but if you don't directly know them, it's okay. Uh, somebody, you know, knows them, but I do feel like you've met them before and you found them attractive, but maybe they were in a relationship at the time and they're not anymore. That's what I'm getting for you, love. I'm going to go to the next caller. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. The next caller is 443-443. How can I help you today? Yes, hi, Tony. Um, I am calling to find out. I've been having some weird dreams, um, and my ex-husband's new girlfriend she just has a weird vibe. We've had a uh, past history. And I'm just wondering if there is some black magic going on or some type of, um, I just want to know what's going on with their energy. It seems like it's like intruding on my energy. So um, just wondering if you can pick up on any of that, if there's anything I should look out for. Okay. Um... 
I'm not good at dreams. I don't analyze dreams for people. I always tell people I don't know about dreams, but what I can do is I can ask if their energy is affecting you. Yeah. So we're going to clear that. We're going to anything they're doing or anything anybody involved in the situation is doing that's having a negative effect upon you. Let's clear that. Let's heal it, release it. Let's pull it. And if you, you know, I have a lot of shorts on TikTok and uh, Facebook and um, uh, YouTube also. And there's a lot for what you've mentioned and other things that would be very, very, very helpful for this situation. But right now we'll just pull as much of this as we can before you go to bed at night. I'm just seeing this and they're telling me to tell you, put a glass, it has to be a glass, not a plastic cup. They're saying a glass of water next to your bed, uh, near the head of your bed, next to it, uh, like it can be on the floor and put a little sea salt in it. And this should also help for you. Okay, love? Mm-hmm. All righty. Okay. Thank you. Um, but there's, there's nothing else coming through for that. Okay. I know sometimes when people call in, they want a very, very specific answer. And sometimes on air, I'm not going to give that answer. Um, there are some things that should be said in a private session and some things that can be said on the air. Something like that, if we're going to go delve into that whole big area, that's more of a private session. But we did start doing some clearing work for this. There is something about their energy that is negatively affecting your energy. So we did start clearing that. If there's more that you would like on that, you can schedule a private session or not. It's okay either way, but I do recommend you follow the instructions that they gave and you're welcome. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question on the chat. If you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9139. Uh, Melissa, uh, my name is Tony, but can you tell me, uh, her name is Melissa. Melissa wants to know, can you tell me if Clyde is going to get his disability check? Um, did he do something? Was he already on it and he might have done something to mess it up? No, if he's expecting one, it's here's what I'm going to get. Here's what I'm getting for you, love. It might take a little bit longer than you think for it to come, whether he signed up and waiting for an answer or it's supposed to be coming or whatever it is. It's going to take a little bit longer than you think for this to happen. Now, if he did something to mess it up, he's going to have to go through all the steps again. That's uh, what I would say. Ani wants to know, I want to ask if my deceased grandfather is around me and if he has some messages for me. Ani, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and when we ask these questions, it's because they are around and we're thinking about them or something about them pops in. Uh, the first thing I'm seeing is a really big grandfather clock. I don't know if that makes sense to you, Ani. But the message that I'm getting is um, that song. It's by Rod Stewart. I can't believe. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, young hearts, be free tonight. Time is on your side. <laughs> And to me, what that song means is because he, he's giving you this message. Um, you can take your meaning 
if that was a song he loved or you loved or whatever, that's part of a confirmation. But the fact that that, that came through, um, time is on your side with the grandfather clock. Okay, thank you. Time is on your side and the grandfather clock together tells me he's saying make the most, like, um, be free. But, uh, yeah, be free and make the most of the time you have. Don't be stagnant. And okay, so the, if the best way I could say this love is don't be repetitive in like, you know how when you work on nine to five and you, or you just end up doing the same things every day, don't be repetitive in your actions, add new things in, do something new, um, break, break out of like the pattern you've been in. Ani, that is what I have for you. Um, so yes, uh, Rebecca is saying she believes her mother or grandmother are slamming my kitchen cabinet. I get a no on that right away and we're going to clear that Rebecca, whatever that is. That has to be cleared right away. So what I'm just going to do this. And if you want to come back and listen to this, I'm going to clear. I'm going to do a clearing. Your, your angels, your teams are going to come in now and clear your homes, clear everything out of your homes that do not belong there um, and kind of clean up the energy of your home and uh, help you to have some of these heavier energies go. So, uh, but I will tell you, your mother and your grandmother are the ones who are pointing out nature to you. Flowers, bring fragrant flowers in your home if you can, Rebecca, that will be very, very helpful. And also uh, allow, um, hmm. Okay, light, um, I normally don't, don't say these kind of things, but light a candle with intention to, to just clear the space, clear the energy, clear the space. Okay, my love, I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, Lolly, Lolly wants to know, hi, Tony, I wanted to see if you can see if my spirit guides or angel have any messages for me. Am I on the right path? Yes, but there's more to come, Lolly. There's much more to come. And I, I want to just say this quickly. You know, I started off and I was in the fitness industry for a very, very long time. That was my first career. And then I went into um, modeling and I stayed with fitness, but went into modeling and such. And then I, and PR and promotions and, and then now I'm doing this. So be open to what comes next and how it shows up for you and whatever you're doing now, be open to that expanding and going in many directions. That's the message I'm getting for you, Lolly. I really, truly hope that's helpful. Hey, Jay Francis. Um, yeah, a little male <laughs> wardrobe malfunction. Okay. Um, let's see if I can find Let's see if I can find it. Hey, Peter, how are you? Um, thank you, Peter. Um, let's see if I can find a question here. Any message from my guiding angels? Eva wants to know any message from my guiding angels. Um, Eva, I hear work first. So Eva, if you can, if you're still here, if you can work with me on this one and give me some confirmation. The first thing I hear is um, work. And there might be a change coming in for you with work. 
it's a good change. Don't panic. It's a good change, but you might not want to make it. You might think you want everything to stay the way it is, but you need to allow for changes because it's time to like evolve or move up, if that makes sense to you. Something, something's coming in that will allow you to, I don't know if this makes sense to you, see more, be more, do more. I don't know if that, can you please tell me, Eva, does that, does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah, I'm open to that. Excellent. Oh, phew. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and there's, I just hear expansion. There's a great expansion coming in for you. And the biggest thing they want to say is, uh, and I love <laughs> this phrase, tune in, tap in, tune in, tap in. And there's something else, tune in, tap in, turn on, tune in, tap in, turn on, tune in, tap in, turn on. And don't, don't think you are, like, misreading, misguiding a situation. You've nailed this. You, okay, this is, this is what I'm hearing, and I hope it's helpful for you. You know exactly what it's, what it, what's, what is, what it is, what it is, y'all. What's up? <laughs> Ah, tongue, blah, 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 blah. okay, there's a situation and you know exactly what's going on and you're right, but you might not be, you might be in denial about it. You might not want to face it or you might want to think, no, it's just this, or giving, again, the benefit of the doubt. Um, so whatever that is, Eva, you're right. Make, make, make a plan and take action is what I'm getting, love. That's what I'm getting for you. I hope that was really, really helpful for you. Uh, Okay, Grandma Kitty wants to know, hey, Grandma Kitty, how are you, love? Um, how do you know you are looking at someone's future rather than their past? Thank you. That's a good question. Um, timelines here and up there can be a little bit blurred. And when a question is asked, and it gets answered, the way the question is asked, I'm always in faith, it's the future. Now, in the case, if somebody says, well, that sounds like what already happened, we can tend to repeat cycles and repeat the past. So what happened in the past could come 90 in again, seconds. or that person could come in again, or the same type of type of person or cycle could come in again. But if it's already happened, if I'm saying something and this has already happened with the person, they might be giving a warning like, it's gonna be similar to this or don't let this happen again. But for the most part, when asking, if somebody says something, I'll say, is this what's coming in? I'll double down on the question, ask it in another way. 60 seconds. Ask for more information about it. But that's a really good question because sometimes that can happen. That can happen where something either resembles the past or sounds just like the past, but you have to just ask it in another way and then go from there. Thank you so much for that question, Grandma Kitty. I love it. Thank you. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. to do this all over again. That is um, Central Time. And bring your questions, bring your love, bring your light, and I will see you then.